Hello everyone, this is Mrs. Howarth. This is an activity that's kind of similar to the milk jug activity where we were trying to catch balls or sock balls in the milk jug that somebody was throwing. We would stand on the floor to start and then to make it harder, we would stand on a pillow. To make it harder, you would maybe stand on uh, with one foot on a ball, either using your other hand to support yourself or not. So this activity is similar for an eye-hand coordination and balance. And what you need is a balloon, hopefully latex free if you have an allergy to latex and an empty paper towel roll. And also it'd be good to have the pillow, um, the soccer ball, tent, a basketball um, as well, and something to stand on. Because the whole idea with this is to try to stay in one spot and really keep the balloon close and working on your um, coordination. So my spot, be my placemat and ideally you just want to stand on the placemat and maybe try to see if you could hit the balloon trying to stay in one spot maybe try to get up to a minute of hitting the balloon so this really works on your visual motor which i'm sure the occupational therapist would be happy with and also helps work on your eye hand coordination you want to try and switch and use your other hand, by all means try, but I know that would be a lot more difficult. So if this is easy, and you can have somebody set a timer for a minute, if you get to a minute, you think, oh, this is pretty easy, then I would suggest you try standing on a pillow. Once again, probably without shoes. So as I'm standing on a pillow, I'm gonna try to hit the balloon, and it just makes your ankles and your feet to have to work a little bit more. It's a little bit more challenging standing on a pillow. Here I am switching hands. So if that's okay, you want to try the ball activity. You're going to get your basketball or your soccer ball standing on your spot with the soccer ball underneath one foot. And you're going to try to hit that balloon again it up try to get to a minute you can i can feel the ball moving under my foot because it's challenging my balance you can try to do that for a minute on the one foot or you could switch and try woo, try to do a minute on the other foot or you could add up. increasing up to three minutes would be a great challenge which would be progress progressing your activity switching your hands Okay, and thus if you see what I'm doing, I'm doing nice gentle hits. If I hit it too hard, then I'm probably gonna lose control of the balloon. So try not to hit it too hard. So you can also do this tall kneeling. Great activity to work on your core, your tummy muscles, your stability muscles. And we always talk about core activities. Let's see how I'm just trying to keep it. Now, if you can't hold this very well, then you can always try to hit it with your hand, okay? So don't feel like if you don't have a paper towel roll, you might find and try to hit it with your hand or your fingers, okay? And then you can go to half kneeling. Same thing, paper towel roll if you want. If you don't have a paper towel roll, your hand, okay? And as you can see, I'm really trying to stay in one spot, switching my legs. So I always try both sides, hitting the balloon with the paper towel roll, or you can hit it with your hand. And you just wanna to try to keep it up in the air. Be probably a minute, probably sounds like a long time, but it's really good activity, working on your balance, coordination, So here's another activity you can try at home with some things hopefully you can find around the house. But this is working on eye-hand coordination, balance, core stability. Thanks for watching.